Hey, what's going on guys? It's Boost HD here and today we're going to be doing Tech News Episode 5. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft's decision to stop supporting users using uh, Windows XP. So they're not going to support those users who are having problems using Windows XP. Uh, so I don't know if, uh, if any of you guys agree with me, but I can definitely say uh, I've been a, well, a quite a long Windows XP user uh, since then I switched over to Windows 7 and if you take a look at in, well, in, the, in the big wide world you'll notice that a lot of businesses and schools and colleges still use Windows XP and that's because it's compatible with so much different software uh, it's more reliable in terms of these newer versions of Windows and it's just overall for a lot of people they just find it easier to use so uh, since then obviously since Windows XP we've also had Windows XP Home, Windows XP Professional We've also had new, com well, completely new versions of Windows, such as Windows 7, 8, and Vista. Uh, so, in my opinion, I've used Windows Vista. And I can probably say that it's probably one of the worst operating systems I've ever used, that from Windows anyway, or in general. And I think if anything, they should stop supporting users with that, since that was just so problematic over the long run. So, I really don't support this new idea of why they're stopping, uh, well, stopping uh, user support for Windows XP. Uh, either way, they're probably still going to be a com more comfortable using Windows XP rather than jumping on Windows Vista, for example. So by comparison, also in that Windows XP overall, uh, we're just a lot more. We're just, it's just so much easier to use than the newer versions of Windows. I mean, we have to take in, into consideration that there are people who are still inexperienced when it comes to using uh, PCs, for example, and uh, I therefore think that using XP is a good stepping stone. If you may be new to computers, such so for example, the old generation uh, may find Windows XP very simple to use rather than jumping straight onto straight into the hot water onto Windows uh, 8, which I'm not even too familiar with myself. Uh, it can be quite da daunting, and they're probably even going to find less problems using XP, even though it's even even ol older package uh, in comparison with Windows Vista. But I just think Windows Vista overall, uh, by comparison with XP, just had so many more problems. Uh, a lot of software just wasn't compatible with it. It kept crashing. It was very slow. Took up a lot of storage to install, and not many other problems such as that. So overall, I can definitely say that this new idea to keep completely scrap the support for Windows XP. I don't think that's a good idea at all. I know we've moved on in the past 13 years, but it's still a stable operating system and still and still used. By a lot of businesses and schools mainly because of its massive software support so now guys what's your view on this whole topic do you think that they should stop supporting users my person definitely said that i don't agree with it at all uh, but do you think do you think we should all move on now to uh, windows 7 or even more so at windows uh, 8 or do you think we should keep supporting uh, previous versions of windows so now guys in boost hd here thank you for watching take care and i'll see you in the next video bye for now